Ah, oh, hello everybody, welcome to my Plague Crater, where dreams go to die. Well, dreams in just about everybody we've recruited in this campaign. To my credit, though, nobody died yesterday. I mean, people are in the process of dying, but you can, <laughs> you can just ignore that. Or maybe it might be uh, better to say people wish, wish they were dying. <laughs> <laughs> the episode before last episode was about control. Controlling our losses, controlling the diseases in the best way that we possibly can. Yesterday's episode was prevention. How do we stop people getting ill? We stop them getting shot and getting horrible infections. Today, everything changes because we're going for cure. We're gonna make these people's lives worth living. <laughs> I don't know quite how we're gonna do that. We're gonna need an actual medical miracle to stop half of these people being in constant, constant pain. I think our people would be desperate by now. I think I think they would be willing to do whatever it takes to survive if that is gluing on flesh crafted organs, if that's eating vile food or wrapping themselves head to toe in bandages. I think they'd be up for it. I think we've pushed them to the point well, we can do that. It's classic politics, baby. Let's take a look then and see what we need to... Oh. <laughs> oh, I like that. It's time to embrace the idea legend for all it's worth. We do ideally need the aseptized body wraps, but for the time being, we'll stick with the regular body wraps and head bandages. I don't think I want to make everybody a head bandage. Ah, oh, medical tank quality plus 5%, but your lowest shooting accuracy and also... We can't wear that with, say, you know, a flak helmet or a riot helmet or any of these helmets that we have right now. So I don't think that's necessary. I will, however, make everybody bandaged in head to toe. I, I think that's going to be incredible. Then for our doctors, plague masks, even though they're not the most effective thing, it'll just look fantastic, won't it? I mean, this will look incredible. I'm going to make everybody backpacks, too, so that they can carry more things, preferably medicine. We definitely need gloves as well. Gloves are going to be handy. What else have we got here? Powered air purifying respirators. Wow. Toxic sensitivity minus 95%. So toxic sensitivity affects uh, disease transmission, you'd assume. Bear in mind, these are added by a mod that specifically makes diseases spread. A communicable diseases, as you might be able to tell. So you'd assume that it does more than just stop them getting, you know, toxic buildup. Is that a safe assumption to make? I think so. Uh, maybe just dusk masks then? I mean, that would be ideal eventually. Does it not affect shooting? Man, it's minus 95%. At least for the people working in the hospital, we need to grab this. We could even use armor axe to get them equipped with, with specific gear when there is an infectious disease in the colony. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's, 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 let's get to work. So top priority, wrap everybody in bandages, get the multi-analyzer finished, finish the hospital. That'd be pretty massive, but obviously we need the multi-analyzer for that first. And then, what else do we have with our ideal legend? We've got the gloves. Those we can't make yet, but we can get the kind of lesser version of that. This we're not going to be able to do for a long time. That's kind of our final goal, isn't it? The humanoid paragon. What we do need... What we do need is some Granlin. And one of our rituals, in fact, allow us to summon that. 92% expected quality. Let's do it, squad. Let's get ourselves a Granlin and we'll, we'll set up a permanent pruner. It's the only reason I haven't done it yet, because we don't really have... Well, that was a bad sign. <laughs> Man, we got so unlucky there. That sucks. And we caused an eclipse. I mean, we didn't cause an eclipse, but I'm choosing to interpret it as that. Slake is getting more and more ill by the second. God damn it. Maybe there's a Granlin pot out there on the map somewhere. Uh, you know, what? I'll look for it. I'll let you know when I found it. Oh, okay, it's all coming together. Karen's created the cloth body wrap. It's a that's a bold fashion choice, I will admit. We have the final ship chunk here, and I'm pretty sure these give plasteel. Oh, it's so perfect. I've taken apart all the ship chunks on the map. We've got so much bloody gold at this point. I'm hoping that will give us enough to finish the multi-analyzer. We've already got 10 in there. Oh, shit. Don't let your dreams be dreams. And what I dream about right now is a, a completed hospital. There's nothing that stands in our way. Well, except for research, pal. Probably needing a reset, but other than that. <laughs> and if we're getting serious about following our dreams, we need ourselves a better workroom. We've got them making medical quality bandages on some dirty floor. So I thought this this needed a bit of a spruce up. Uh, it's very flammable, I will admit. I mean, I mean, this is still dirt. That's the best I can do right now, okay? It's wonder any of our people are still alive. Okay, outfit, we're gonna say, uh, sterile nation. And uh, let's go, uh, all in bandages. All in bandages. And then I'll just force wear anything else. Uh, what about, like, body wear? What is that called? Uh, it's not called bandage for the body, though? 
<laughs> oh, body wrap it's called. Right, gotcha. Uh, body wrap, and then you guys can have, like, uh, backpacks too. Man, this is gonna look... This is gonna look very Egyptian. It's gonna look, look, look like mummies. I have to try and design, like, a, a, a uniform that works. That's skin layer, so we can wear anything that goes above that without having to worry about it. Uh, gloves. We need the gloves too. And because we're, we're a very clean nation now, we need to say nothing above... Or n nothing below 50% hit points. Let's throw in some gloves there as well, then. Uh, we need the sterile gloves. It's another minus 5% to uh, toxic sensitivity, or I suppose in this case, uh, disease transmission. Then we need to start burning all this bio waste. Any apparel that is uh, kind of low quality, we'll just, we'll just chuck it in the furnace. We'll say anything below 50% hit points, allow all. So yeah, I don't care what it is. Let's get that shit burnt. Uh, weapons? You know, I'm not bothered about weapons, actually. We can recycle those. I mean, obviously, we can recycle apparel eventually, but right now, this is all covered in every sort of disease and blood. We've got to try and be a little more, a little more health conscious. What about an apron? That's middle layer. We can make everybody aprons. I mean, I mean, there, there's medical application for that, right? Do we actually have... Oh, we can actually make them. Hey, this is good. Now, like I said, our doctors will get plague masks. I suppose we can make the, 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 the bandages for the face, too. I, I worry that... When it comes to combat, we're going to get shredded. On the plus side, they've already got the bandages applied for when they're horribly shot. <laughs> and then we'll say just open season on uh, on headgear, I guess. For the time being, at least. Uh, just, just go nuts with that. That's fine. You may not like it, but this is what optimal performance looks like. <laughs> this, this is very silly. <laughs> this is a very silly playthrough. So next thing I want to do then... Given that I'm fairly comfortable and then surviving a little longer, we've got the hospital, we've got the bandages now that give 10 quality bonuses, we've got a good doctor, we've got consistent medicine, the kill box, kill square. Let's rename them. I think this is long overdue. Uh, given that this character doesn't even have a name, I feel like it's, uh, it's kind of a necessity at this point, right? There you go. What a squad. What a team. I only wish I could give them some badges so that we could actually differentiate them a little easier, but apparently that's broken. We have Vic, Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan, Boy of Noodles, Shmeeb, Simba, Bo, Bo 2.0, because I felt bad about using the first Bo name and then having them die episode one, Ivy, and Johnson Dingleberry, but you can call him Dingle for short. We've unified the names, but we do have to unify their ideology too, like Simba and Dingle are still different religions. So, oh, well, it's going to be a while. Simba, remember who you are. Whoa, 80 suit of 47. Wowee. Costumes are good. Names are good. Jobs are good. Now, can we maybe try... I mean, we could wait again before we try another Granlin summoning to convert a couple of people over. Because that'll increase the success chance. What happens if you try and fleshcraft someone on a meat hook? A, a shocking amount of people wanted me to try the whole meat hook thing. You're, you're all monsters. You're absolute monsters. What happens if we try that, though? Well, that's, uh, that caused some issues. <laughs> this will be interesting. I assume it would just convert the top character. Yeah, it does, thank God. A tongue. Another tongue, are you joking? A spine? Oh, for God's sake, another tongue? How much medicine have we got? Because we need to get Vic up as soon as possible. Today is all about cure, right? Why did that just beep and not tell me anything, brother? Oh, Boy of Noodles is going on an insulting spree. He looks incredible. Wowee, those respirators are awesome. Uh, sorry, let's actually focus on getting you tended, my friend. This is going to be dangerous. Well, this is going to be really, really dangerous. Four medicine and attempt. We've got plenty of medicine, so I'm happy to try it. Let's get that reinstalled first. And then my man, Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan. New material. We need to use regular medicine for it. We can't use... Shit. We can't use uh, herbal medicine. Right, okay, that's a real big problem because you're our best combat character. What do you think, like, strip him? Give me the, give me the gun link. Give me the ball pup up at uh, uh, the very minimum here. Shmeeb will give the charge lance, our third best fighter. Yeah, we're, we're not in good hands. <laughs> we're in a lot of trouble here losing Vic. No storage space for corn? We got too much food now? Why have we got no store? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, I'm starting to, uh, I'm starting to see the issue there. No, you're right. <laughs> Great timing. Yeah, no, there's no way we could possibly defend ourselves. Let me introduce uh, some mechanoids. I never thought this day would come. It could not be going any better. Simba has demanded obedience from Darkness Dementia Raven Way, who. <laughs> 
<laughs> who has decided to nap next to this giant snake. That's not a squirrel. I, I disagree with that. Uh, where's the snake's body? How do I clip this snake? I want to find out what it is. One day. <laughs> One day I'll find out. Titan boa. There you go. Wowee. Uh, why are you sleeping out there, though? Do we seriously not have a spare bedroom? Got to build another one. You know what? The prison is now a hotel. Congratulations. Now, the real good news with that is we finally have a backup doctor. That means we can finally do surgery on Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan when that becomes a problem. I mean, it's already a problem. <laughs> it's a problem to go along with the rest of the problems. And then the final thing we've got lined up for the hospital now is the vitals monitor. What is that thing? Oh, an auto tamer. Right, of course. That'll be super useful, of course, when we actually get into the... Uh, 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 genetic engineering. That's what I was looking for. Uh, let's throw in. No, no, no. I wanted to queue that up, you big fool. Let's go neutro amine synthesis or production. What does production do? That allows us to make it from uh, chem fuel, I think, but we don't have biofuel refining? Huh. Well, we'll also go for that one as well, then, just to be sure. Now we can make a hospital. I mean, it's not going to be that good still, but it'll be it'll be certainly a lot better. So we need <laughs> everything we don't have. Classic. <laughs> but I imagine we've got to be already up there, right, in terms of... In terms of... Look at this. Immunity gain speed is up to 122%. 1% from the lamp, 10% from the IV drip. And with that, plus the bandages that give 10% uh, 10, 10 quality offset, and then... 3% immunity gain on the hat with another 5% 10 quality offset. We're going to be fine. Well, we're not going to be fine. It's going to be still an absolute waking nightmare every hour of the day. It just means that, <laughs> you know, we'll get immediately battered. Do you think that uh, Darkness Dementia Ravenworth was a little bit freaked out, given that when they were put in prison, it was just a regular walkway, and now they walk out here, and it's just, uh, just a horrifying forest of ice? <laughs> hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> this is a fever dream. This is a fever dream. Look at Jimmy. Look at Jimmy. What does the plague mask do, little Jimmy? It's minus oh it's minus 80%, I, I guess disease sensitivity, 20% social impact. Uh-huh. Oh my good god. <laughs> I mean, as far as a colony paranoid and thoroughly obsessed with disease goes, this is this is pretty good. Yeah, I can work with this. And right on cue, vitals monitors. Uh, vitals monitors, of course, we still can't build, but that's okay. What else do we need to put in here? We just have a free square. Okay. Well, I'm sure there's something we could ram in. I mean, we could make the rooms larger and we could give each separate room a vital center, but that seems... I mean, down the line, when we've actually got, like, good miners and, um, deep drills. Actually, deep drills could be a very, very good call. Maybe we pivot to deep drills, then. Because we can't build any of this shit anyway. And just because today is cured doesn't mean that we can't do a little bit of prevention as well. The prevention in this case being stopping the frigging base burning down because it's an inevitability in every series I do. Oh, yeah, no, we should deal with that, shouldn't we? Oh, Dingle. He's going to knife fight a horse. You brave fool. I hate to say it, but I think Dingle might have dangled his last Dingle here. Holy crap. You might have bought yourself enough time to escape from it. That lynx is coming in fast, though, huh? On the plus side, he's wrapped in antiseptic bandages. So if he does get horribly mauled by animals, it won't bleed out. No, I mean, it will bleed out. But he might not get so many infections. I don't know why bandages don't help with bleed rate. Given that that's kind of the, kind of the point. <laughs> Because <laughs> maybe it'd be too overpowered if they gave bleed rate and they gave, uh, uh, you know, kind of disease resistance. What are you doing? You haven't got a gun. All right, piss off. What are you doing? You haven't got a gun. You haven't got a gun. You haven't got a gun. This is a nightmare. It's an actual full-on nightmare scenario. Uh, come through here. There you go. There you go. Uh, Bo, run. We can't lose Bo again. For God's sake. Where have all your guns gone? Why have they unequipped all their shit? Because clearing forced equipment does not throw their guns on the floor. I would like a refund on that one. Uh, what do you mean gunshot ball pop rifle? What, you shot bow? How's Dingle doing? Dingle's back up. Dingle, are you good? Probably not for long. <laughs> you might make it. The hospital's almost there. Maybe we can put a giant bridge across the middle. 
That would certainly cut down on time spent running back to the bloody hospital. Maybe building more than one hospital might not be a bad idea. You remember that triage center I was going to set up? Oh, I also kept some of the crypto sleep caskets because I thought they'd actually be quite useful given that the heat wave went and the only reason I was taking them apart so, was so that we could get the materials for that. So I'm going to... Uh, Jimmy, though, Hippocratic Oath and all that. Well, in fantastic news, I got the pawn badges working, so we can a bit more easily keep track of who does what in this cesspool of a colony. Uh, the, the bad news is the psychic drone is at minus 25 on everybody. So, um, <laughs> we do need to do something about that before the whole colony falls apart. Boy of Noodles very bravely agreed to head up and try and blow up that Lancer. Oh, maybe not Boy of Noodles. Well, were you a bad choice? Uh, 74% moving, you were a bad choice. That's okay, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Right, run. No, oh, I wasn't enough. Okay, I'm trying to take out... I'm trying to take out the Lancer. Will that do it? No, I don't think that'll do it. Oh, shit. Well, that's the worst of both worlds. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Boy of noodles, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so like I was saying, I'm sending the whole squad in without cover to try and kill these bloody Scythers. Oh... This is dangerous. Well, at least they're shooting one another. Uh, back off, back off very slightly here. Let's back off very slightly here. Vic's up. How is Vic up? You were in so much pain you couldn't move. Oh, the stomach cast now has gone into remission. Oh, great news. I mean, you're still going to probably die horribly, but, you know, at least you'll be able to walk around a little bit before you do. This is the actual worst series to be fighting mechanoids. We've got nobody capable of combat. Our best combat character currently is a friggin' plague doctor. We have no armor. We have bandages. <laughs> oh, this is a nightmare. Okay. Uh, are you good, boy of noodles? Are you actually fine? Are you okay? A couple of cracks from the scythe blade. How did it not do more damage than that? Okay, I mean, I'm happy with that. I thought Boy of Noodles would be, <laughs> would be very dead. But no, it's, it's completely okay. Now we have to do is bravely try and fight this Lancer with, um, let's be blunt, a very debatable armor. I mean, let's just put him in whatever cover we've got at this point, huh? Good luck. Oh, okay. Well, that's one shot we've survived. Come on. Come on, kill it before it can fire again. Right, an Ivy spleen. It's okay. It's not as if Ivy is our most valuable character here. Ah, oh, shit. Well, please kill it. Oh, fuck off. Come on. I hate this colony. I hate them all. Honestly, honestly, if I had the other mod pack ready, I'd be happy to watch them all die horribly. But I don't. Crisis of belief. Yeah, you and me both, Dingle. You and me both. What's wrong with you? Why are you on the floor? You got shot in the arm. You almost had your arm blown off. Coward. You almost had your arm blown off, and your spleen, and your torso. Oh, shit. Um, Ivy is probably dead, then. I mean, to be fair, Ivy is probably dead. That's a very convenient heal route. Thank you. Ivy is not going to die here. Not on my watch. All right, well, maybe maybe, if, maybe on my watch. <laughs> and we get to do my favorite room or game of make sure there isn't a better bed accessible. Otherwise, they'll haul them all the way there and watch them bleed to death on the way. Right, uh, you go lie down as well. Who else needs immediate tending? Everybody. Everybody does. Shocker. Okay, tend to Ivy. Uh, Shmeeb, now's really not the time for a snack. Picnics can wait. Death in 16 hours. That's good. That's good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Any time now. 14 hours. 13 hours. Ah, Vic! Shit. Well, Vic's back out. Um. Okay, no, no, no. Come back, come back, come back. Shmeeb, let's grab that one. It's it's actually impossible to play remote in a more optimized way than this. You might think, you know, you don't. You don't know better. This is fan. Ivy is actually fine. Right, get Ivy home. You take Ivy home. Right, how are we looking here? Which one of you is going to die next? Oh, I mean, you're probably all going to die. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Has to fight or forgotten their orders? Your orders were to lie down. Fine, 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 fine. Good enough. Good enough. They're not going to play it out. All right, now you tend to you. Uh, you piss off. You grab that. Everybody's happy. You've only got one damage. We only need the one medicine. Oh, that was, that was, that was skillful. That was well handled. Big brain time. Oh, wait, the ship. <laughs> um, can you, like, just walk home of your own volition, though? You take Boy of Noodles. Boy of Noodles isn't bleeding out. Boy of Noodles is fine. Like I said, there's a bunch of cracks and bruises. Uh, Jimmy, this one's on you. Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan honestly might be MVP. I, I think Ivy is being supplanted here by Jimmy. Oh, they're breaking down. No, 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 we're almost done. Extreme brightness times five. Don't worry, it's almost over. We're done. Simba went catatonic actually the second I took it out. 
You've, you've offended me. Well, that's one of our components that we need, so I'm happy with that one. Uh, yeah, it broke down because of the high psychic drone. It, it was like a second too late. That's really, really frustrating. Is everybody, like, in bed, though? No. <laughs> no, very much not. Oh, Bo, no, and you've got a headache. I don't know the implications of this. Where did you get that corpse? Bo is carrying old Bo's corpse? This is directed by David Lynch. I thought I cremated that fucking thing. No, it's, I was too late. I was, I was seconds too late. The damage was done. Insurmountable. Unstoppable. This is, this is very, this is a very difficult mod pack. Oh, blue spaceship. Hello, blue spaceship. I like, I really like Plasteel. But uh, melt this, melt this person. Melt this person right now. I'm obsessed with corpses if there are no corpses. Ah, well, I mean, there are corpses. Every, like everybody. If we get a raid now, we're just dead. Two people are broken, three people are down. It's down to Bo, Dingle, and Jimmy, the Dryad's number one fan. Vic can apparently move again. Vic, you are... What's going on? Stable, stable, growing? I don't know why now you're suddenly allowed up. Maybe it went into remission long enough to... <laughs> to get Vic back up? I have no idea. Uh, urgent priority then. Maybe we... We have a vitals monitor. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that was unexpected, but that's fantastic. Immunity game rate is 124%. Is it good enough to outpace the storyteller? Uh, uh, except for perfect conditions like 20 medical and glitter world medicine. No, it's still still not good enough. And Ivy is in a lot of trouble here. Um. Okay, let's make that for prisoners. I still can't believe there's a better system than this at this stage of the game. Uh, it's, it's actually unfathomable. That's not medical. You seem to be mistaken, Jimmy. Uh, rescue. Why would you not just immediately take her to the best bed? <laughs> Ivy? Ivy, my friend, don't panic. 57%. Ivy, my friend, uh, panic. I like, actually panic. You horrible beast, Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan. 2%. Oh, shit. Uh, it's actually, the immunity is catching the infection. Holy crap, it is catching it. We just need a slightly better 10 quality next time and we might be okay. Oh my god, this is going to be so close. <laughs> you know what? Actually, I take that back. I think the infection is outpacing it very, very slightly. Get this bin out of the way of the door. Come on now. I mean, I know I want to emphasize cleaning. Reserved by who? No, 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 no. You don't get to doctor here. We need our best doctor on the job. But simultaneously, I do like having a backup doctor. Let's just keep a point in it and let's make sure that our best doctor is the one doing the doctoring. Shit. I mean, we've got Glitter Tech Medicine. Can you amputate a spleen? I'm no doctor. You can remove it. What's the implication of removing a spleen? I need to Google this. Can you survive without a spleen? I'm not even sure I really know what a spleen is. It's an important part of your immune system, but you can survive without it. This is because the liver can take over many of the spleen's functions. Ah... See, so you're telling me there's a chance. Well, look, let's see how this 10 quality comes out. We're looking for 70%. <laughs> you fucker. You absolute son of a bitch. <laughs> let's see if by, what do you think, like 75% infection it can catch up at all? It's maintained a consistent 8% gap the entire time. Yeah, it's staying pretty much uh, uh, solidly at 8%, isn't it? Non-stop. Shit. In fact, it's 9% now. The gap's getting even bigger. Wow! So we're gonna need every linkable on this to make it possible. We're gonna need our better quality bed as well. We're gonna need, like, a masterwork bed. Shit. Even with the vitals monitor and the IV and everything. And the bandage wraps too, don't forget. The only thing that can improve then is the medicine. We can't survive on herbal medicine. This sucks! Um, right, okay. Uh, let's go back to neutroamine. Uh, synthesis or production. I guess we'll go production. And then let's go biofuel refining, because I'm pretty sure we do need that as a prerequisite. Okay. Well, Ivy, I hope you aren't too attached to that spleen. I mean, I know literally you are. Yeah, I mean, the, the gap is increased. Right, give me that spleen. That's mine now. We capped at 70% 10 quality anyway. That was 69%. I don't think that 1% is going to make all the difference. In fact, you'd probably be upset to know that we've gone from 69 to 70%. Excellent. Your life has been saved. Now, I assume that'll have some impact on... Nothing. Surely it'll have some impact on blood filtration. Nothing. Oh, oh is our decorative spleen? Or is that what we do in the future? Please. <laughs> Please just buy my crap so I can finish the floor. Yeah, I'm just going to sell them everything. I'm just, I'm just going to sell them all this garbage and we'll start from scratch. I need the silver is just so much more valuable right now. 
There's so much stuff we can build silver out of. Dingle, give us what we want. Give us this conversion ritual so that we can finally get Garanlan. I mean, we could probably get Garanlan anyway, but, you know. Thank God. Okay, okay, okay. And now, little Dingle, we can finish converting you. Oh, uh, it was my converter these days. It's hard to keep track now of renaming them. Boy of Noodles, convert. <laughs> Boy of Noodles has been his name since the start. Down to zero. There you go. Perfect. Okay, and now we have a Garanlan summoning. Oh, we performed it recently. Should we just take the gamble? Should we, should we just go? Should we just go for it? Sod it. I, I can't put it off anymore. I can't. Oh, it, it, I wanted Granlin at the start of today's episode. Please. That's exceptionally creepy. I um... I give up. <laughs> we are fated to never get a tiny dryad. I mean, moods, you've got to admit, are actually really, really good to say that everybody is riddled with disease. A lot of people in the green, a lot of people in high orange. Vic is sad. Vic is also a walking tumor. Observer desired. Hey? Do. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. There's another roll? Oh. Wait. Observer. Cure, cure seekers. You're right. Observer. That's the friggin' art thing, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> this is taking a toll on my mental health. This has absolutely destroyed me. I can't even read anymore. No way did we get enough silver from that trade. My god, are we actually going to be able to finish the hospital today? Because that would be good enough. That's a nice consolation prize. And we've got one basically finished hospital room. I can't do anything else with it besides install a vital center, which I'll be honest, I'm probably not going to do. We could also throw down... What, what, like a sleep accelerator, an end table to increase comfort? Because that will still connect on the diagonal, right? It should do anyway. Yeah, it's still connected, fine. Sure, let's throw down the end table then. At least. Sam. My brother in Christ. <laughs> I need to I need to show you what I'm dealing with in my life right now. Okay. You, uh, you know RimWorld? Yes, I have dabbled in the RimWorld. You've, pl you've played a, Only a, a thousand hours. You've played yeah. a couple of hours, right? Let me show you what's going on with this colony. Let me explain to you why, why life is not worth living. <laughs> Why, why I'm done. I'm out, okay? This okay. is it. Okay? The video, you can show my family, okay? <laughs> I, this, I, it's over. I'm, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move to the other side of the world, and I'm gonna live off the land as a crazy hermit. I'm gonna look after the monkeys. I will protect the orangutans, <laughs> because it's more fulfilling than this. Look. Look at my base, right? Yep. First things first. Everybody, there's die trees. They're glitching out a little bit. Yeah, they're all inside neighbors each are drilling, other. by the way. The neighbors are drilling. They've been drilling all day. <laughs> They've been drilling all day. <laughs> uh, major break risk. Good. Everybody. Good. Right? Uh, here's Vic. Right, you know what? Let me show you in your reverse order to really hammer this home. Right. Dingle? Happy. Healthy. Healthy Dingle. Wrapped in bandages, if you're curious, because that makes them healthy, because that's how it works. Yes. That's how Doctor works. Uh, Ivy, not looking so good. No. Restless, which is just a random thing that'll occasionally happen. She hasn't got a spleen, but it's okay. It was a decorative spleen. What? It doesn't do anything. It's a decorative spleen. Okay. She has a stomach made of a man. Okay. <laughs> Bo has a headache. Oh, no. Bo's getting away with it easy, to be honest. I've got a fucking headache right now. She's wearing glasses at the drilling. She's wearing glasses over a bandage. Yes. Probably why she's got a headache, to be honest. I Her see vision's that, probably yeah. fucked. Simba, remember <laughs> who you are. Unfortunately, can't because he's in pieces. Oh, although he's not too bad. Oh, he's got damage in his lungs because his lungs were filled with worms. Oh. Yeah. Wonderful. That's how that's what happens. Yeah. You got darkness, dementia, raven way. Yeah. Uh, frost Iconic. Frostbite on the pinky. Otherwise, doing pretty well. And then it starts getting a bit, a bit fucky. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shmeeb. Scarred. Uh, also, lungs were filled with worms. Also, missing a toe. Was also bitten by something. I don't remember what. Right? What's up? I'm just looking at. It says scarification. Did they do that to themselves? Yeah, just for a laugh. You're looking very shocked. <laughs> it's just. It's just how these things work. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to the forest to look after the monkeys. Then you've got Boy of Noodles, right? <laughs> Boy of Noodles, who's kidnapped this fucking guinea pig. I just saw the disease. Hepatitis. Hepatitis K, in brackets, extreme defensive reaction. That sounds like a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! Link summon. He's got an extreme benign growth in his leg. His clavicle is cracked. His arm is missing. He's got his other arm and leg made of people. And then his fibula is cracked from a scyther. And now he's kidnapped a guinea pig. 
He has. That's not the worst one. No. Jimmy. Jimmy's actually not doing too bad. It's a chronic stomach disorder. and not, One of his lungs was full of worms. The other one was shot by a revolver. Finally, you've got Vic. Oh, no. Vic is just tumor incarnate. Mega cancer. Mega cancer. That, that, I mean, the only bit that isn't written is this wooden <laughs> hand. How has he managed to get cancer everywhere? I don't know. And even wrapping him in bandages hasn't helped. <laughs> oh, no. Even <laughs> look at the tears in his one eye. <laughs> <laughs> so that's been this series. Yeah. Are you tempted to play for yourself? No. no. Why? Why ever not? I don't think I want to get mega cancer. Why? You what? Just, just, just wrap it in some bandages, okay? Yeah. Wrap every, it in some knows bandages, that, you know? and you'll be fine. If only the cancer charities knew that all you needed to do was <laughs> wrap yourself <laughs> just, in just bandages. Cover yourself in bandages. It'd be perfect. <laughs> My God, we've done it. We've actually done it. I think we've got all the prerequisites to make Neutromian and then all the prerequisites to also now make medicine. Biofuel refinery. Slam it down. <laughs> right next to the bin. Then you can crawl in afterwards. Give me the drug slab. Throw that down too. It also occurred to me a little bit too late that when I was replacing all the walls with something slightly less flammable, I also removed all of the coolers and the heaters. So we do have to rebuild those. I've rebuilt some of the heaters because, you know, it's winter. That's a little more important than coolers. Ch this has to be it. We still can't make Neutromian. Are you having a giggle? Process mechanoid milk. I don't want to milk a centipede. I just want Neutromian. I guess it was the other research. I ballsed it up. So what the hell does this thing do then? Process Neutromian from Chemfuel. Uh, the mod is literally called Process Neutromian from Chemfuel. What? <gasps> You're doing it in the drugs lab! We're safe. We're actually safe. Holy shit. We can make chem fuel from deep chem, which is the new vanilla expanded thing. We can pump neutramine from the earth itself, effectively. And you know what? That's exactly what we're going to do here. Holy crap. Talk about a synergy I didn't even consider. This is massive. And then we make 50 neutramine. And then we also need to reach those medical production, which I might have forgotten. Uh, Ultra tech medicine production. We can make guns of war medicine in this mod pack. I mean, this is fantastic. Tomorrow... Forget the dryads. Fuck your dryads. We're going to be oil barons in the most sensible way. Genetic compatibility, neutromium production. How do I uh, drill for oil? Uh, oil? Chem fuel? Chem, chem fuel? Biofuel refining, industrial generators. You know what? It actually might just be biofuel refining. Hold on. Uh, pipe networks. And if we can get deep drills as well. We drill for health. Thank you all for watching. What a fantastic and accidental game plan that we're uncovering here. I threw in the chem fuel mod just because it's new and it's vanilla expanded. I've never seen it before. But the fact that we can tie it directly into everything and it be so important. It's, it's one of the only ways we can make new training from, from what is effectively a, 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 an infinite resource, right? This is exceptionally good. What a fantastic coincidence. Thank you all for watching. Apologies about the delay on this one. My neighbors have been doing DIY all day. Between the hammering and the drilling, I've had very tiny little moments where I can do a little bit of recording here and there. It's been a fucking nightmare. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. Thank you to Biv, Man of Many Fates, Thomas Law, Scrub Back the Blood Soaked, Other Guy 39, Night Rouge, Ethan Was, Bigsby, Silent Sentinel, Lapis Golem, Archbishop, Lurch, Tricutrol, Desync, Fishy Fishy, Chestnut, Hecadim, Mythomatic, and El Chupacabra. El Chalupa Cabra for their support at the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you for your support over there. And a thank you to Septimless Miscrin, Epilogue, Lazy Panda, Quagasol, Dr. Hunk, James, Skylar Drake, to Snarf, This Flex, Skonkalope, Saxon Cat, Coldest Flame, Railingar, Sendy, Axel PJ, Abacus, Blackframe, and Atreus Sen as well. See you all tomorrow for progress in drill form. Something I never expected.